Cute. Well, I've said my piece. Good day. Good day. Good day. May I have another lemon square? Well, have as many as you want. Oh. Hey. Hey. Those old stoners came by my diner and cleaned out my pie case. Uh, it's about time. That thing hasn't been cleaned in years. <laughs> Business is booming. I wish you weren't kicking them out. You talking about kicking about it? I'm not kicking about it. Who said that? The fogey said your brother told them to skedaddle. Their words, not mine. My brother is such a bonehead. My word, not his. <laughs> you know, he would turn in his own grandmother. Of course, she was making passports. <laughs> but that was only a hobby. Uh, well, don't let those old buzzards leave. They're halfway through my four-year-old tub of butterscotch pudding. You still got that stuff? I can't put that in the trash. Some poor animal might eat it. Is that what happened to this? Smell it. Go ahead, smell it. <laughs> what the hell is your problem? When I tell you not to bug people, I mean don't bug them. You had no call to go up there and talk to those old people the way you You're did. You're right, Mavis. I don't understand why when I ask you, when I'm clear, you just walk all over my feelings. You're right, Mavis. What do you mean you're right, Mavis? Whatever. <laughs> you're high. That's egregious. <laughs> You've been smoking weed. Let me smell your breath. <gasps> Very lemony. Want a lemon bar? That nice old lady made them. She's a good cook and easy on the eyes. <laughs> okay, what is the order of succession? Don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me! Okay, tell me! President, Vice President, Speaker of the House, President, Pro Tem of the Senate, Secretary of State, followed by the other cabinet officials. I got it, I got it, okay. President, Vice President, you know that uh, Albanian girl with the cross eyes and the goatee? <laughs> You know, the one I sit next to. I tell you, you're wrong. She's not smiling at the teacher. She's, she's smiling at me. I'm telling you that. Part. I am going to get some air. Right. Please focus, Nasim. You're a horrible study buddy. Okay. Order of succession. Okay. President. Vice President. Hello. Hello. Vice Roy. Oh, hello. Hi. I didn't see you there. I just came down to get some pretzels and oh. Beer nuts, maraschino cherries. Oh, excuse me, uh, are, you, uh, are you American? I left Korea with a purple heart hmm, and a scar in the shape of Florida. <laughs> Damn straight I'm an American. Well then please, please, uh, please sit down. Uh, maybe, maybe you can help me with this. I'm, uh... um, if the president and vice president were both to die, Speaker of the House and the President Pro Tem of the Senate were both to go down in, say, some massive fly fishing accident. <laughs> Who then would be your leader? I don't know. It's a tough one, isn't it? Yes, tough. Yes, tough. Uh, it's okay. I have some friends who can help me out with this one. Yes. I'll, I'll, I'll look them up. Yeah. Your terrorist handyman wants to be a citizen? Well, that won't expose flaws in the system. We let too many people in this country. <laughs> There's not enough room for us already here. I can't believe you saying that. How would you have liked it if we had that attitude when you was trying to get in this country? What are you talking about? I was born here. Get out! Broadway and Canal. Damn, girl, then why you talk so funny? Maybe it's environmental. 
I agree with Celine. I think we should build a big wall around this country. No, no, no. You're gonna need the Chinese for that. <laughs> she had a point. I mean, really. If you didn't have an immigrant population, who would take care of white people's kids? <laughs> Clean their houses. Yeah. Trim their hedges. Mm. Wax off pool dentas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I just said. Trim the hedges. <laughs> All the immigrant population really wants is their own parade. Which we understand, you know, because black people fought for years to get a parade. Of course, they gave it to us in January, that's why we never go. <laughs> I say build the wall. But Sophia, if it weren't for immigrants, who would work in your restaurant? Yeah, I don't hire immigrants. I hire illegal immigrants. <laughs> they're grateful and they're not all hung up on health care and minimum wage. Oh, you don't have to worry about Shalupa. Chalupa's legal. Of course I'm legal. Chadwiga, you ever think about becoming an American citizen? I have a country, thank you. What is it with you Americans always trying to recruit people? God, you're worse than a Scientologist. Oh, I see you're still here. Still trying to work it out. Yeah, yeah. That's him. Take him, take him. Excuse me, sir. Yes, can I help you? Yes, we'd like to have a word with you, outside. What's wrong with inside? We'll tell you outside. Please, sir, not now. I'm studying to be a citizen. Look, pal, we can do this the easy way or the hard way. Look here, I'm not a black man. You can't beat me for no reason. Let's go, pal. OK, hey, 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 hey. No, maybe we got off on the wrong foot. My, my name is Nassim. I bruise easily. No. Will you just let me? Mavis! Mavis! Huh? Kick him in the nads. Mavis! What? What is going on here? Will someone tell them who I am? That's the terrorist handyman. I knew this day was coming. Stop. Listen, Nassim, what is going on? I don't know. I've done nothing. Hey, hey Norman, where are the munchies? Woo, hello, officer. <laughs> Just a police force all by yourself. Excuse me, excuse me. Why don't you step over here? Okay. Step right there and don't move. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me what's going on, please? I thought we were gambling in here. There's $50 in the pot. Shh. You lying. We're not gambling here because gambling's illegal. And nobody has any pot no around pot. here. We, we ran out? Can anyone here vouch for this man's identity? I can. He works for me. This is Nassim Katanjami. He's my handyman. He's Take a sneaky care. Arab. <laughs> he's just so old, he don't know what he's saying. He is a sneaky Arab. He is not a sneaky Arab. He's a lazy Persian. Thank you, Mavis. Uh, Ma'am, I just want to know what he's doing with this confidential information about the chain of command. What? Dude. He's studying to take his citizenship test. That's what this is. Really? Yeah. Well, damn, this is hard. <laughs> well, sorry for the misunderstanding, folks. There you are, sir. And good luck. This country can always use another smart Arab. <laughs> I'm not Arab, I'm Persian! You Michael Flacky loving drink till you drop and kill through your nostril, I'm Spanish! Okay, okay, listen, okay, easy. Easy. I it's can't cool. believe they're not going to arrest him. I can't believe they haven't arrested you, you, you pot smoker. Oh, you can't talk to him like that. He's a veteran. Oh, really? Where did he He's serve? Right. In Colombia? Oh, oh. 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 I can't take oh, 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 hey, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it, damn it, stop it. Now, you people just cool your jets. If y'all could just stop pointing the finger at each other and start giving the finger to each other, We'd be in a much better place. Mavis, Mavis, Mavis. What, what, what? Do we have any Doritos? <laughs> and I assume you're getting ready for school tomorrow. <clears throat> Mavis, can you explain something to me? Sure. You smoke indoors, you gamble, you allow people to smoke marijuana in your hotel. How, how do you square that with being a good citizen? Well, I tell you. In order to be a good citizen, you really got to follow the laws of the land. But in order to be a good person, you got to follow your heart. Yeah. Is that what you were doing when you kept that case of whiskey that fell off a truck? 
Yes, it was. It was 22 years old and no one wanted it. Mavis, you are such a great American. Thank you, Nassim. Let me give you some sugar here, baby. 